Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to 2024 ICOM's first podcast for this year. Today I'm joined by Ma'awna Basi, Muhammad Ahmed Fulayyah, Aryan Ahmed Adil, and So now you're wondering what's the topic for this podcast? Well, we know our teachers talk a lot about, you know, like managing between the, your personal life and school life, you know, balancing between the two. And that's good though, we hear it from our teachers, but we should also like hear it from our students as, as well. So I reckon like this is like a time for us to really express ourselves. How do we feel about how do we like balance between our two school life, which is important, education, academics, and yeah, your personal life. So like, you know, how would you, how do you personally balance between the two? For example, um, say I have a test on Wednesday, for example. I actually do actually a math test on Wednesday. But then I have, for example, uh, some TOK work that's due literally um, this Friday. Is it today Wednesday? No, no, next Wednesday. So like, TK is like a it's philosophy, don't worry about it. It's like, to know, like, uh, why do you know knowledge the way you know it? Do you want to be a philosopher or not? Don't worry about it. But like, basically, I have, for example, TOK that's due on Friday, and I have math topic test that's due on Wednesday. So what would I prioritize first? Uh, you you would you go, rather yeah. be a, You would rather be a philosopher than do anything <laughs> related to math. Yeah, but that's true though, because you try to prioritize something that's more important that's coming up between then prioritizing something that's coming later. But you pay, pay attention to both of them, right? There you go. Personally, I would rather work with words. Like, if I just say like five of the most random words ever and get paid tens of millions of dollars for putting it out of a random book, I would take that any day rather than doing that. So, for example, how do you do it? Like, uh, how do you balance your schedule with your normal life then? Because we're not stuck at school, we're not robots. Honestly, like, I, we all wake up the third year, of course. Of course, of course. I hope. Of course, yeah. of, course, of, course. of course. And so, from third year to like, uh, till seven, because mm -hmm. then that's when I leave, I obviously get ready, but like, we, I have most of the time, like 20, 30 minutes left. I try to squeeze in, like, a little bit of homework that I can do. Don't do any work or homework like late at night or after 10. Don't do it because you can't focus on it properly. Personally, the best way to study is by doing a technique of blurring, but that's something else. It's Explain, yeah, blurring. Blurring, yeah. Explain it. You try to remember everything you've learned from before, you write it down, and then it's at a different color. You write down what you forgot, and then you re rewrite everything you remember. You repeat the process until you more or less have everything you need. Mm -hmm. So I try to give an example. For example, yeah, science, right? Yeah, for science, example. science. What did you do in terms of science when you used that method of studying? So let's say if I'm trying to learn how to, let's say like just an example, cell respiration. If I'm trying to learn how to, if I'm trying to memorize these steps so I can write it down, if there's going to be a long seven mark question, I'm going to try to write down whatever I'm about. I'm going to use a red pen to write down what I forget, and then I'm going to rewrite it, everything I remember, and then I repeat that process until more or less everything seems I remember. You, you know how, obviously, teachers tell you to take notes during class, right? Mm -hmm. But the paragraphs are like so long, no joke, sometimes it's so long. I just take out the important information, put it in like one, two, maybe three sentences, and I take it home. And then I do it with that. Like, I utilize my school resources that I've done in school, obviously, to study at home, basically. So, the notes that I've remembered, I know that is going to be the most important stuff. So, I try to remember that, not anything else extra. I actually think a good timetable will be the school timetable itself. Yeah, it would be. Like, following the school timetable itself at home, <clears throat> like, I think that would be ideal in a way. Not, I'm not copying school time table by itself. For example, one period is for 45 minutes. At home, if you can dedicate 45 minutes to any subject you want, that's effective as well. 45 minutes and then once recessed, like 50 minutes, I'm pretty sure? 50, 45 minutes, I think. No, it's 50. It's 50. 50, 45 minutes. Yeah, use that, use that method at home as a break. 45 minutes, 50 minutes break. Go back to the cycle of like, studying whatever like, is important to you. And continue like, this um, cycle of 45 minutes studying and then 50 minute break. You keep continuing. And that way, you not only will you not you won't clog your mind with a lot of studying, but you won't also like become too lazy and just forget about um, studying altogether. That's true, but I feel like uh, for me, I don't know for anyone else. 
three hours of studying is the perfect time. You don't get tired, you it don't get bored. What After three hours, <clears throat> you just take a break. Okay, take a break, that's it, you're done for the day. Like for me, I get home at four, and then I have a tutor class from four to five. And then five to 6.30, I have free time. In that time, I finish my homework, or I study. It doesn't, it depends which subject, it doesn't matter. I do whatever I can. Okay, for example, you mentioned a good point about reading a book in a holiday. It's, that's, it's a fair, it's a fair task assignment, but like how would you divide it in a holiday? Like for example, you read two pages one day, and then the next day you read two pages and continue. I do like a chapter every day. A chapter, that's good too, a chapter. But what if there's more chapters inside of the book than there is um, days inside of the holiday? Because so what? So like, what do you mean, so what? You're not going to get there at like the start <clears throat> of the term, right? I'm going to do it throughout the term too, like. Yeah, it's fine as well. Idea. Because the, the whole point of reading a book in the holidays is so you get the understanding of what the story is about. It's not necessarily, necessarily about you finishing the entire book in the holidays. As long as, you get, as long as you get the meaning of the story behind it, that's fine. Like, for example, you said about, about reading through the holidays and the term as well. That's a good idea as well. I would read one chapter, I would highlight it, he would read one chapter, summarize it, and then we would summarize the chapters, read it to each other, and then he would highlight it and we would share the information between us. It's really effective and it's honestly a really good way to finish your homework and actually learn while having fun. You know how you said um, to, uh, I study three hours a day, that's like yeah. you know, good enough. Do you do it like in a row or like no, I, sp I spread it out obviously. So how do you how do you spread it how how do you spread your three hours studying out across the entire day? So again, thirty minutes before school, mm -hmm. an hour thirty minutes right after my tour, that's already two hours. I go to the gym from 6.30 to 8, okay, an hour 30. And then when I come home, I do 30 minutes to an hour until nine o'clock, okay? And then for the next hour or two, you until 10 or 11, I play games. You play sport, I, man. Yeah. So that's how you pretty much just do it. You balance between your normal life and your school life. Yeah. So you spread out your studying time table across the entire day. I mean, that's effective, I think. I think that's the one that we hear a lot from our teachers as well. Spread your work around, spread your timetable around. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty effective. Honestly, I yeah. have, for me, I have to spread my work around and put like other things to do in the middle because the thing with me, I can't exactly, I can't focus on work for more than like 30 minutes. You know what's crazy? You couldn't do projects. You had to be like a tech pro to do a project at home. Like there was oh, no right, like physical. We had to use powerpoints. Stuff. Like, the, the, no, the, the, they're never gonna end because yeah, it's a yeah. skill. It's a genuine skill they have to use. To At this to day and age, it's actually a genuine skill. Most most businesses they require. They the pay really well, but like, doesn't it get boring after a while? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm still doing it to this day. I had one um, Monday actually. That's why I can't disappear. Yeah, literally on Monday I had a presentation to give. I, I still do it to this day. Do you know how to use Canva? No, our teachers always are like. Do this, do this on Canva. Yeah, because I don't already know how to use Canva, so I open Docs. Because oh, yeah, I expect you to teach this to me. No, you I are don't know how to use Canva. Bad man. All right. I try, try, try. It, like yeah. it's important skills we have that we all know how to use technology first of yeah. all. Because we live in an age where technology is like the center point of our society. Anyone has concluding points? Yeah. Wrap it up. Any concluding points, anyone? So, I feel like having a balance between school life and normal life, social life, is really good. And you should really listen to your teachers because they have gone through the same things as us. True, true. And to be frank, they've gone through more than us. They've gone at least three times. Yeah. Uh, what was it again? Like the Industrial Revolution uh, introduced child slavery, right? Yeah. Slavery. Something like that, but like, child they had, those, they child had those like difficulties, so they know more than us. Yeah, they know more than us. So. Again, school isn't life, but your life shouldn't revolve around just video games. Mm -hmm. Have a balance, like a, you know, um, those way thingies. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yes, yeah. yes. the judgment skills. Yeah, what are I, I feel skills? like yeah. I feel like you should weigh more towards school than your social life, but or else put it like you don't throw social life in yeah. basically. You don't keep that alive because it's good for your personality, yeah. your health and etc. So 
Uh, I guess we'll wrap it up. Uh, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone. Thanks for listening.